is what I've been working on. I told you I was going to do some more fashion updates. I'm sorry it came late, but here's what I'm working on. This is the full dress. The front is going to look... The front is going to look ruffled. Well, you know, bodycon look. That type of dress look. I can't describe it. And the back is just going to be a plain simple back. I'm debating on whether to add a zipper. I don't have the bodycon... What's it called? Um, I don't have the invisible zipper. Sorry. At the pause. But yeah. I don't have the invisible zipper. So I'm debating on whether I should cut this in half and add the invisible zipper or leave it how it is. So yeah. I'm getting ready to sew the bottom up. And then once I'm done, I can guess I can put it together. Then after that. So. Once I sew it down the line, I'm going to add in the elastic, thick elastic. Even though the top is stretched, even though this overall fabric is stretchy, you're still going to need some type of stretch support. So when you put it on, so the top doesn't really just clinch together as you're getting dressed. Or more like being so tight at the top when you're putting it on. For your boots to be free. Like I said, this is for a woman who is 15, who wears an extra large and a large, which ranges between a size, I want to say 13 to 15. So, yeah. And then I'm going to add some rhinestones in the front. It's going to come out looking slightly different, but almost correct. So, almost done with it. Okay, so I am officially done sewing the bottom of this dress. I might have to add another piece for the bottom, but I'm not sure. I don't care. This is the back, like I said. I'm finished overall with sewing the rough line of the dress. Alright guys, right now it's upside down. Sorry, my pants. <laughs> this is what I'm working on next. I'm inserting the elastic at the top and then I'm going to fold it down and sew it down. Almost done. Right now we're looking at the inside out, inside out of my dress. I had to trim it down though just a little bit because it was a little too big. But like I said, it should, it should still fit people between my size and maybe one more size up. So, yeah. Like I said, when I model these clothes, I model these clothes around my figure because I really don't have no models yet. So, yeah. But it's coming together fine. So, be prepared for another tidbit or video. Short bit. Hey guys. Oh, okay, yeah, my music in the background off the computer. Um, Sexy Child, look at 21 here. And... I'm sitting here basically sewing down my top part of the dress. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, there's a couple of things about this material that I didn't really understood. Like, like for like wanting to like smooth the fabric out, even though it's smooth already. But like when you want to, it's wrinkled. I don't think you should iron it. I think you gotta like take it to a dry cleaner or get it steamed. Because I just tried to use the um use the iron and I don't know if you guys can see this, but it melts the fabric and yeah. So I guess this dress material is made out of I'm gonna assume nylon, not nylon, silk, polyester. And possibly not on because when I was in fash text introductions to tech 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 styles class and they taught us the different fabrics and they said what fabrics will burn, melt, and or not burn or fray. And this fabric melts, so I'm assuming it's between polyester and nylon or silk, because they're such fine fabrics. So, yeah, so don't iron this type of fabric. It's, it's very, it's very fine. 
I don't know if anybody else knew that, or I don't know if anyone else knew that, or if I was the only one who just didn't really pay attention to it, but yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> but that's all. Sexy chocolate to one of you. So, ignore my TV. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I tried to insert the elastic, and I did it wrong. I think I wasn't supposed to, I was supposed to not sew it in, but like, fold the fabric over and then pull it through all the way around, and then it should fit like that, because I had to wind up cutting the top part off the dress, which is over there. But in all in all, the dress still comes out perfect, still fits. Um... Yeah, so now I'm just gonna sew down the edges and I'll show you another snippet of that later. So keep tuning in. Living on my sofa, drinking rum and cola underneath the rising sun. I could give a thousand reasons why, but you're going, and you know that all you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay All you have to do is wait a second Your hands 